We're going to do an interesting type of proof today. This is a proof that would show up on an in-class midterm or exam and would probably never show up in homework or in the notes. So prove or disprove that for sets A and B, it is always true that A minus B is an element of the power set of A. So what we're going to do here, what we have to prove specifically, I'm just going to lay this out, is that A minus B is an element of the power set of A. So there's a few facts that I think we should remember, and I'm gonna list them on the right as we go through. One is, for any set A, we're always gonna have that A is an element of its power set. So this is a fact that you might have proven before, or maybe you have to prove it in the future. We're not gonna prove it here, but this is just a fact. So to start this, we're going to use this fact to show that A minus B is therefore going to be an element of the power set of A minus B. Now, this is just a fact we can have on its own, but there's a problem. The problem is we want to get the power set of A. So what we're gonna show at this point is we're gonna show that the power set of A minus B is a subset of the power set of A. Because if the power set of A minus B is a subset of the power set of A, then anything that applies to the power set of A minus B will also apply to the power set of A and we're gonna get what we want. So for this, we're going to need to rely on another fact. And that is, if you ever have an element of a power set, say X is an element of the power set of A, what that's going to imply is that X is a subset of A. So with this information, we now know that A minus B is going to be in this case, uh, so if X is an element, I should probably back up and say first, so we're going to assume that we have an element X in the power set of A minus B. So from this fact, we're going to get that X therefore is a subset of A minus B. Now, what do we know about Venn diagrams and subsets with A and B? We'll take a look what A minus B looks like. It is all this area here. Now, where is this area contained? Well, it's contained within the bigger circle of A. So from this, we can show that A minus B is going to be a subset of A. And we could prove this a little bit more specifically, so let me just do this quickly on the side. We assume that X is in A minus B. This means that X is in A and X is not in B, but more importantly, X is in A. Therefore, that's the proof. Okay, so now that A minus B is a subset of A. This means that X, try to use the same color here consistently, that X is therefore going to be a subset of A. And if X is a subset of A, what does that mean? That means that X is going to be an element of the power set of A. So we've said that if X is an element of the power set of A minus B, we're gonna get that X is an element of the power set of A. Therefore, we have now shown this part. So, we can now take this line and we can say then that if A minus B is an element of the power set of A minus B, well, that's a subset of something larger P of A, then we can say it's in that power set. So that's the proof. It's a little bit trickier. You have to be able to convert between power sets and regular sets and understand how those elements convert into subsets and back and forth. But overall, it's a fun problem. It's definitely fair for a midterm and it requires you to really think about the material.